Hi, I'm with uh, Bill Douglas today, and I'm really excited. He's the founder of World Tai Chi and Qigong Day. And Bill, I hear you're very excited about the upcoming January 16th online summit. What's going on that day? Well, I'm excited about doing this with you, Siobhan, and also Dr. C.J. Rhodes uh, from HBL Consortium, uh, World Tai Chi Day. And, uh, uh, but uh, Peter Wayne, Dr. Peter Wayne, the author of the Harvard Medical School Guide to Tai Chi and the director of the Osher Center, the Complementary Medicine Center at uh, Harvard Medical School, and Dr. Richard Hammerschlag, a, neuro a neurobiologist, are going to be discussing the science of chi. And this has been, uh, when, I, when I was going through my uh, Tai Chi and Qigong training 40 years ago, uh, you know, chi and life energy, that was, that was a big part of our practice, you know, that we were, we were studying Nagong and energy, you know, meditations, and, and then incorporating that into our moving Qigong and our Tai Chi. And uh, so it was just kind of a natural part of uh, uh, our uh, uh, educational process when we were going through our training. But then when we started organizing World Tai Chi and Qigong Day, I realized that there was like this whole debate going on within the Tai Chi world about the, ex the very existence of chi, uh, which I had no idea was going on because it had just been an accepted part of my training. And, uh, and so uh, the debate uh, uh, over these decades uh, has been really fascinating to see, uh, you know, as Tai Chi and Qigong teachers uh, uh, and experts, uh, you know, debate this issue of uh, bioenergy or chi or life energy. And so uh, we're going to have these two leading scientific minds in this field uh, discussing the science of chi or, or life energy or bioenergy, but also their own experiences in this regard as well, which I have no idea what their experiences are. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what their, their experiences are. And then also perhaps, you know, sharing your experiences with it and, uh, and uh, CJ, uh, CJ's contributions to that discussion as well. So this is gonna be so exciting. I, I, it's like I've been waiting my whole life for this, for this uh, you know, podcast or whatever we call it, you know, online summit. Right. So, uh, so I can't wait. I think it's going to be very provocative. It is Saturday, uh, January the 16th, 11 a.m. Pacific time. 1 o'clock Central Time and 2 p.m. Eastern Time. But we have to register early, right, Bill? Yes, register early. Uh, there's limited uh, seating in the, uh, in the Zoom meeting. And so you want to register now. Uh, and there's no guarantee that you're going to necessarily be in there. It'll, you know, it'll be first come, first serve. But we'll, we're also going to have a simulcast on YouTube. Uh, so that part won't be participatory uh, because there, uh, there will be a time when they'll be taking questions. So, you know, depending on how many people are there and how many questions, we have no idea how many people will be able to get through. Right. Uh, but you, you may have access to the discussion if you get in early in the Zoom meeting. Uh, but you'll be able to watch it on YouTube simulcast as well for the sure. overflow. And Bill, we're hoping that people will contribute because the people who contribute, and it can be a small amount, it doesn't mean a million dollars. We'd like a yes. million dollars, but it doesn't have to be a million. But if you can contribute just a bit, um, then you'll get the uh, Zoom link right away. Uh, yes. So then you're almost like guaranteed uh, getting, getting in there for the online summit. So Much more likely. Thank you, Bill. Is there yeah. any...